Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop. Today we have a new resin testing gauntlet. We have the Youngly High Speed, we have the Standard Pro and we have the Engineering Pro. If you are new to the channel, hi, my name is Eve and today we are going to look where this resin is going to land on the charts. These resins were provided for testing purposes, no money exchange hands so I can be as unbiased as possible. Now my print experience with these two resins were fine, these were very easy to print not a problem at all. The Engineering Pro is a very hard resin to print and with very hard I mean it. I have poured in this liquid at about 50 degrees C and even heating it up at 50 degrees C this was still a very thick and goopy resin with a little bit of a fail here and there but I think it could mostly be fixed if I was using thicker supports. Now let's look at the print quality. We can see down at the bottom we started failing right here but the supports took over over. this was printed with a very light support so it would benefit from more heavy supports now this is very hard to print you will need at least two seconds of rest before exposure so make sure you are using bigger supports and you use enough of rest time to print this figurine and then you will be mostly fine in printing this one we can also see the same at this one you can see that right here it started failing this was the start of the model the rest of this model just came out great we are still having Having a nice figurine then we have the resin block as you can see there were some stresses right over here but we don't have a major high spot this is actually very close to a perfect square block then let's look at the warping we have the slightest hint of warping on this long and straight piece and if we look that on we can see it started curving a little bit so there are still definitely some stresses in this resin we have the very slightest hint of warping but it is so minimal I could give it a pass of almost being perfect also these things right over here are very flat just as these things so warping is not a big issue on the engineering pro and then we have the nut and bolt test this is going to decide if the printer resolution is good enough on the resin and I have to say that looking at the threads they are a bit dulled down and also looking inside they are not the sharpest results I have ever seen now let's try and turn this thing in so it is very hard to turn it on i think we are lacking some details in the thread so this was printed at 4.8 seconds of exposure the recommended settings are five seconds and more so we are definitely on the conservative side and still i am not able to turn on these things then we have the standard pro resin if we are looking at the figurine everything printed out amazing the supports were moved very easily and this was just a no fuss resin this was very easy to print no issues at all and the print details are all very nice this is scaled down by the way to about 60% of the original model and still we see a huge amount of details in this face and we can also see the same details in the neck also on the foot the bottom side is also very nice we see the stippling going on from the supports but still we have a very very nice result on the resin then and looking at the resin block we have a little bit of a high spot right over here but it is very minimal supports also removed very easily we have a bit more warping than the engineering pro but it is still very manageable even for a standard resin this is a very nice result in warping what is funny to see is that these test pieces for the impact are not straight so they started curving like a banana like this way and they are all experiencing the same issue that there are some internal stresses in this resin making it not straight anymore then this piece is actually fairly straight we do have some warping going on but it is fairly manageable then the nut and bolt test the same thing we are going to try and screw it on and this time we are actually able to turn on this nut and bolt so this is a very successful print we are having very nice details on this resin and then we are at the last one and that is going to be the high speed so this resin is printed around 1.9 seconds then we had five seconds and this resin is printed at 1.2 two seconds this is the first time i have ever printed a resin under 1.9 seconds and the result honestly for being that fast are really mind-blowing so first of all we are going to take a look at the figurine and this figurine is absolutely perfect printed at 1.2 seconds this is just 
mind-blowingly sharp resin. Even the bottom part, it all printed out just fine. So comparing this to the other resin, we saved about an hour of print time. Also, this is a bit smaller because I only had one bottle of this resin, so I wanted to be careful if we had some failures. But still, this has been printed at 1.2 seconds with 0.5 over rest before exposure. This is an absolutely mind-blowingly result. Also, the bottom of this base is nice and flat. We do have the chicken pock thing going on from the supports, but this is very easily sandable. Then uh, the details on this little base are also very clear. Then we have a look at the warping. We do have more warping than we have with the standard Pro Resin. These pieces are also more warped than all the other resins on the table right now. And we also have the same problem that this piece isn't straight and it is starting to curve like this. Now it's time for the nut and bolt test, also printed in 1.2 seconds. The definition seems to be okay. We don't have major defects that I can see. So let's try and turn it in. And also this time we have very, very good details on the resin bolt. We feel some binding, but yeah, this is honestly a very good result from the nut and bolt test. First findings, very high speed resin seems to be of a high precision too. Then we have the standard resin, which is fairly low warping, which is nice. And then the engineering is still to be seen if the print difficulty is going to reward you in performance. But first, we are going to start with the impact testing. The impact testing is at a scale of 0 to 100. 0 means there was absolutely nothing absorbed by the resin. And 100 means this was just a dead blow. This is still on the result of the previous test. We are seeing that this resin performed around 4%. So let's see if these resins are going to do any better. First of all, we are going to start with the high speed. And it seems to be performing on par with the rest of the resins with about two and a half percent of impact resistance. We have four more pieces, so we are going to check for consistency. So the last one performed a little bit better with about a 3% of impact resistance, but on average we resisted about two and a half percent of impact. Next up is going to be the standard pro. This is the worst! <laughs> it looks on average that the Standard Pro resisted about 5% of impact. So next up is going to be the Engineering Pro. So it looks like the Engineering Pro is a bit more inconsistent. We can see results going to 10%, but we also have seen results going to 4%. So let's say it's somewhere in the middle and it is going to resist right around, let's say 7% of impact resistance. Interesting results. We can see that the Standard Pro performed at around 5%. The High Speed only did about 2.5% and the Young He Engineering Pro did about 10% on the max and it did about 4 on the minimum. So we are seeing more inconsistent results on the Engineering Pro. Is it because of the internal stresses during printing? I don't know, but we can definitely see that the Engineering Pro is doing a little bit better on the impact testing than the normal resins. So we have done all the testing, let's compare all the results. We are going to start with the pull test. First of all, the Engineering Pro is the second best resin we have tested so far at the pull test, coming in second at 512 newton meters of force, doing way better than the Young He Art and Engineering, which was about 386. Very good results, only the Nova 3D Engineering did better than this one. Then we have the Standard Pro coming in at around 425 newton so it's on par with their own standard plus which is the cheaper resin and then if we look at the high speed this resin performed uh, below average i would say it's more on the softer side so this broke at 340 newton meters so this is weaker than the standard pro resin the standard pro resin did really great and the second best resin so far is going to be the engineering pro then we have the push test and just the same, the Engineering Pro is at the third place at 240 Newton meters, just behind the GTEC Tough and the Nova Engineering. Like I said at the beginning of the video, the resin felt a lot like the GTEC Tough. It was very goopy, very thick and hard to print. 
and uh, looking at the numbers it's very close we are very close at 214 newton meters giving it the third place then looking at the young he standard pro it did a little bit worse but not that bad at all at 187 newton meters of force so this is also a very good result for a standard resin the only resins that did better were the tgm and the nova 8k resins which you can consider to be standard ish and then we have the high speed coming in at 150 newton meters just behind the sunlu abs so the performance on the high speed seems to be yeah not that bad then if we look at the impact testing we have tested seven resins and we have still one big champion the nova 3d mecha coming in at about 10 percent of rejection then on the second place we have the engineering pro coming in at six we had results between 10 and four most samples were more on the side of the four so i gave it a middle of the run six newton meter still it's better than all the other standard resins so yeah if you are looking for more impact resistant prints then the young he engineering pro is going to deliver on that if we are looking at the standard pro this is another surprise for the standard pro the standard pro did twice as good as all the other standard resins coming in at about five percent of impact resistance not a bad result knowing that this is a standard ish resin and then the last one is going to be the high speed and the high speed is on par with all the other resins we have tested coming in at 2.6 ish percent of impact resistance so it's very close to the engineering and the tgm resin we have tested from nova 3d so i would say this is a surprise it did better than all the other standard resins and this was a little bit of a disappointment we didn't see the performance that i was expecting still it is not that bad it is better than the other standard ish resins then looking at the threat strength tests those are going to be those blocks right over here we could see that they all were around the 25 newton meters mark the best resin we had was going to be from the engineering pro which was a best result of 25 newton meters giving it a place just above the middle and the other two resins we have tested are average and they are at the 23 newton meter mark if we are looking at the resin block we can see that the high speed had some uh, chipping going on so this is the first indication that this resin is going to be brittle we didn't have any epic failures like the other blocks exploding so yeah not a bad result at 23 newton meters then we have the young he standard pro also the same experience we also have some chips flying out of the back so it's also a bit more brittle than all the other resins we have tested and then the engineering pro also surprised a little bit we can see that we have a little chip right over here but when we drilled this resin we could see that we don't have major chunks flying out so this is far less brittle than all the other resins we are testing this day and then we have the stiffness test and this is very interesting the engineering pro is actually more stiff than the art and engineering from young he so the art and engineering is going to yield about 10 centimeters at the end point which means if we are hanging a weight right over here it's going to yield more than the art and engineering so the art and engineering did about 10 centimeters while the regular engineering pro did about six centimeters so it is a bit more stiff than the art and engineering which was also not a big surprise seeing at the impact that the testing was a little bit less impressive than we figured out then if we look at the high speed there were similar performances at the high speed it also yielded about six centimeter at the end point so it's definitely a little bit stiffer than all the rest and the standard pro was actually the stiffest of them all being at the 5.5 centimeter mark still it's not as stiff as the nova 8k and we can see it also it is a little bit less brittle than the standard ish resins then ending the stiffness test i want to use this sample to provide you a little bit of an insight what you can expect and now we are going to bend this sample and we are going to see what kind of a reaction we are getting So yeah, this is actually <laughs> quite surprising. We don't have an epic failure. Let's do it again. Yeah, the second time the pieces were flying away. So it is still a little bit more brittle than the other resins we have tested, but it is far better than any other standard ish resins we have tried so far then we have the standard pro the standard pro should result almost the same if we are looking at the stiffness test let's get a look yeah so this was a little bit easier to break than the engineering pro and then we have the high speed we see that this resin isn't as strong as all the rest so 
I think this is going to break much easier. Yeah, so this was the easiest one to break. Then we had the Standard Pro, which actually performed really good. And then we have the Engineering Pro, which gave us the best yield so far today. And then if we look at the warping, we can see that the Engineering Pro actually isn't perfect. We had the smallest hint of warping. So I gave them a 0.5 on the warping scale, just because it wasn't that flat, which is still a great result, 0.5. Yeah, this is the resin to get if you want no warping at all. Then if we look at the Standard Pro, I gave it a 1 out of 3, so a little bit more warping than we had with the Engineering Pro, but still it is very manageable. Then if we are looking at the high speed, I gave it a 1.5 on the 3 scale, because it was worse than the other two we have tested. It wasn't majorly warping like we have seen with other resins that are on the list, but still it is, I would say, a middle of the run on the warping scale. Now let's talk about the pricing. The Young He Standard Pro is coming in at the second cheapest place that we have on the resin testing gauntlet which is $27. Now if we look at the competition the Nova 3D Prime which is also a standard resin is coming in at $24 only that the standard pro performed a lot better than the Prime. The Prime was way more brittle than the Pro so if you are thinking about buying a cheap resin that isn't too brittle has a little bit of yield and it is very easy to print then at the second cheapest place the Young He Standard Pro is absolutely a great choice. And then we have the high speed. The high speed is coming in at $32.95 which is uh, looking at the charts almost in the middle of the pack. It is a little bit more upper tier so it's going to depend on you if you want really fast printing then this absolutely delivers. 1.2 seconds with only half a second of rest time before exposure. This is going to smack prints out of your printer like it's nobody's business so if you are looking for true speed then the high speed is absolutely delivering we have a good mix of properties it is not too soft it is pretty strong it is a bit brittle comparing to the rest it, did, it didn't perform really good on the impact testing but still if we compare it with other regular resins then this is absolutely no slouch and then we have the young he engineering pro this is actually one of the most expensive resins we have tested so far coming at 41.95 now, if we have to do a comparison, then the Syria Blue Tough is getting very close. So we have the same kind of resin, meaning that if you pour it out, it is both very goopy. The Syria Blue Tough is super goopy and the same thing is true for the Engineering Pro. So for printing properties, they are going to be both very hard to print, but we could see that the Engineering Pro actually proved to be a better resin than the Blue Tough. It's coming in at around 60 bucks. The Engineering Pro is giving you the same or better for $42. So also a very good pick if you are looking for durable prints. Now, durable is not the only thing that the Engineering Pro is good at. The rep from Young He really pushed to say that this resin actually performs really great under UV, which means that you can leave this resin outside into the sun and after a year, this resin will be close to the same properties than when you print it. Well, this is actually the first time I ever hear that if you are printing with resin for the uh, MSLA uh, things that we are doing right now, that this is the first time I am hearing that this resin is UV proof for up to one year. Now I, I'm actually going to test that claim. I have enough resin to do another testing, but I'm going to do another separate video. Now this is the time that I need you guys because I want to know what you want me to test. Do you want me to print this thing and put it in the UV chamber and let it cure for let's say one hour a day or should I put it in my other UV box that I made myself and just let it run 24 seven for the next couple of months and then do all the same testing again. So guys and girls, I need you right now to comment down below and let me know how you want me to perform this UV exposure testing on the Engineering Pro and with what resin you would like to see me compare it to. Well, I think we are close to being done. We have seen that we actually have a good result for a standard-ish resin at a good price point. If you need ultra fast printing, then this is absolutely delivering. And if you want durable prints, then the Engineering Pro is actually delivering. And the last thing I want to do is thank you guys so much for watching this video. Comment down below, let me know how you want me to perform the UV testing on this resin. And guys, I see you in the next one.